Welcome back for part 2 of the Super Saturday Shift. If you haven't already seen part 1, there will be a link on the description now. If not, wait till the end of the video where the link will pop up. As you may have just seen, we did previously drop at Waterloo Station and there was plenty of cabs on the rank there. So upon leaving Waterloo, we decided to have a look at the London Eye. When we turn right from York Road onto Chichley Street, hands have gone up and we're into another job. Get the customers in and they just want to go to Battersea Power Station. So we do a quick U-turn, get out on the next green light and we head south on York Road. From here we're just going to follow the River Thames all the way down to Battersea Power Station. So we get the left onto Addington Street, passing the Park Plaza County Hall on our left, and the Park Plaza Westminster on our right. Then we do a right Westminster Bridge Road, and then a left onto Lamb of Palace Road. We we'll travel south on Lamb of Palace, passing St Thomas's Hospital on the right, and then Lamb of Palace on the left. And then we we'll comply the roundabout, leave by Albert in Bankham. We'll go past the old fire station headquarters and continue heading south along Albert Embankment until we get to the Vauxhall one-way system. We're left onto Kennington Lane, right south Lambeth Road, right Parry Street and then we'll just go forward onto Nine Elms Lane. Nine Elms Lane, we'll pass the American Embassy on our left hand side, and then we'll do the right onto Pump House Lane, forward onto Battersea Power Station, and set our customers down. So after dropping Battersea Power Station from Pump House Lane, we turned right onto Battersea Park Road. As you see in the next traffic lights, the customers run up to us and they've jumped in. We're back into another job. They just want to go up to Belgrave Square. So from Battersea Park Road, we get the first available right onto Prince of Wales Drive. And then we'll comply Queen Circus Leaf by travelling north up Queenstown Road. From Queenstown Road, we'll go forward Chelsea Bridge and then forward Chelsea Bridge Road. Now we do have a couple options here, but I decide to keep it super safe. We'll just travel north up Chelsea Bridge Road and go forward Lower Sloan Street. From Lower Sloan Street, we'll comply Sloan Square, leave by Cliveton Place and then go forward onto Eaton Gates. The median gate will turn left onto Eaton Square and then go forward Chesham Place. Just before we get to the Harry Hotel, we'll turn right there which is still Chesham Place and then bear right again, that will bring us up to Belgrave Square. We'll comply Belgrave Square sitting on a north east corner just before Built on Crescent. So after dropping on the corner of Belgrave Square and Grosvenor Crescent, we continue heading east along Grosvenor Crescent. As we get to the Peninsula Hotel, the doorman's standing on the corner with his arm in the air. So we drive onto the hotel forecourt, get the customers on board and they want to go to the La Famiglia restaurant down on Langton Street. Please excuse my pronunciation of the restaurant name. So once we leave the hotel forecourt we'll get the left onto Grosvenor Crescent. We'll comply Belgrave Square, leaving by Upper Belgrave Street. Now from Upper Belgrave Street normally on the knowledge you just call forward and right Eaton Square. But to skip all the traffic lights along Eaton Square, from Upper Belgrave Street we do the right onto Eaton Place. As we do the left onto Eaton Place, we'll take the first right onto West Eaton Place. This will let us get the left onto Eaton Terrace, passing the Antelope Public House, where we can then do the right onto Eaton Gate. From Eaton Gate, we'll go for Cliveton Place, and then we'll comply Sloan Square, leaving by Kings Road.
We'll continue heading west along Kings Road. When we get to Langton Street, we'll turn right Langton Street and set a customer down on the left hand side. So after dropping on Langton Street, we start heading east along Kings Road. Our hand's gone up just before Oakley Street on the opposite side of the road, so we do a, do a quick U-turn, get the customers in. Customers are on board and they just want to go to Imperial Wolf. So from Kings Road, we just head west along Kings Road. We'll get it left onto Millman Street and then a right onto Cheney Walk. As we get to the junction of Cremorne Road, we just turn left onto Lotts Road, left Chelsea Harbour Drive, and then we'll bear right onto Harbour Avenue. To go past Imperial Ball Station, we'll turn right onto Town Mead Road, going through the taxi barrier, and then set a customer down on the left for Imperial Wharf. So as we're dropping our customers off at Imperial Wharf, put an app on and we get a ping straight away from nearby Chipstead Street. It's going over to Pembridge Place, just off of Chepstow Place, uh, which is where the Asagi restaurant is. We've been there a couple of times in previous videos. So from Chipstead Street, we'll do the right onto Kings Road. We'll head east on Kings Road and we'll get the left onto Gunter Grove. From Gunter Grove we'll just go forward Finborough Road, forward Warwick Road. Now sometimes you would go right to West Cromwell Road, left Cromwell Crescent, right Pembroke Road and then left Earls Court Road. But this time of the evening the roads are pretty clear so we just stick on Warwick Road all the way up to Kensington High Street and turn right there. I know it's probably a little bit shorter turning left right left right, we're just going to get in there as quick as we can. We'll travel east along Kensington High Street and get the left onto Camden Hill Road. We'll travel to the top of Camden Hill Road where we'll do the right onto Notting Hill Gates. From Notting Hill Gate, we'll left Pembridge Road, we'll right Dawson Place, and instead of turning left onto Chepstow Place like we did in part one, we'll take the left turn just before we onto Pembridge Place and then set our customer down. Yeah, so far so good. Bit of a super Saturday, absolutely flying. Seems to be that we I think we've done the right thing with the app jobs. The ones that come through took them. That sort of uh, kept us ticking over. I see some queues of cabs certain places and it feels like we made our own luck today. So yeah, yeah, pretty happy. I've just seen a Paddington now. Got about 30, maybe 40 cabs in front. That don't always mean a lot though. That could be a five, 10 minute wait. We'll sort of hang about 10 minutes though. We'll, we'll stretch our legs, hang about and see what the score is. If not, we'll get a move on, try our luck elsewhere. Anyway, hopefully we'll get another bum on the seat soon. So as we get to the front of Paddington, we're actually on a two cab job with a cab in front of us. Customers say they want to go to Crawford Street, but more importantly, they give me the door number. I have a quick look on my phone and I see it's at the very end of Crawford Street. 
So I know that we could use Marlebone flyover, Marlebone Road and get an up and right onto Upper Montague Street. We could then left Crawford Street and set a customer down. Cab in front can't have this information, so they're obviously getting a full length for Crawford Street from Homer Road. Now although I could get my customers there quicker, it's a two cab job, so we just follow the cab in front. We don't want to play games, make them look stupid, and it's just the right thing to do. So following the cab in front, we leave Paddington Station by Bishop's Bridge Road. We can pull Harrow Road Circus, leave by Harrow Road, and then we'll turn right onto Edgware Road. We'll left Chapel Street, take the first right Transept Street, and then left Old Marlebone Road. From Old Marlebone Road, we'll take the first available right onto Homer Row and left Crawford Street. This is the shortest route to Crawford Street, so I've got no complaints there, but the driver in front can't have had the information I had. We'll pull up behind the cab in front, set a customer down for our final job of the evening. Now this video is a bit shorter than the previous ones I've uploaded, but if you have liked what you've seen and you'd like to see more of this type of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button as well, that really helps. Leave a comment down below, I will get back to everybody who leaves a comment. Thanks again for your continued support as well. Until next time, be lucky. 